Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, my name is Sue, and I'm a bookaholic. Everybody say, welcome, Sue. Yes, I come here today not searching a cure, because there is no cure for this disease. I just come to spread it amongst all of you. Um, I was kind of poking around my Goodreads uh, page the other day, and came across my shelves labeled uh, Nook and Kindle. As you know, I've, I've shown you, um, I have my Nook Simple Touch. I've never shown you my Kindle. This is like a first generation Kindle. They are white. This has just got a, a black skin on it because I thought it looked cooler. Kind of looks like a gigantic wedge of cheese, this old unit here. But anyway, I had this two shelves labeled on Goodreads. And I know I've downloaded a lot of free and really cheap books from the Internet that I've found on Facebook and various sites and things. And I was curious to see how many have accumulated because I know I have not gotten around to reading any of these. Just like a lot of the books in my book haul, they're piling up on this ginormous to be read pile. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go through these two shelves and create a new shelf called Cheap and Free Ebooks, just to see how many um, are I've accumulated in about a little over a year, I'd say. And I was a little shocked to find the number came up to be 90 books. 90 books that are I haven't even touched yet. Um, I've, I've even printed up a couple of pages worth. If you want to see some of the covers here. But like any book you see in a book haul or you come across, um, you know, on the internet, you kind of get it while you see it because you might not find it later on. And you kind of have to jump at the chance. I mean, some of them are really cool. Like this is uh, Rachel Vincent. It's a novella in her Soul, I think it's Soul Takers or Soul Keepers series. Uh, this is the House, House of Dark Shadows. I actually have it in a book format, but I was able to get it. I think that was either free or 99 cents. Um, this one here, Solus, book one in the uh, Parasol Protectorate series. It's a uh, adult sci-fi. I've seen that in someone's book haul recently, and I thought oh, I really want to try that that trilogy. It was 99 cents on an ebook deal. Uh, even this one, I saw this on Richard Denny's uh, book haul. This was a free book. This is uh, another one by Julie Kagawa. It's uh, like a novella in the Iron Fae series. I haven't even read the Iron Fae series, but you know, I nabbed it while I saw it. A lot of these are, are like YA books. There's another whole set of them. This bunch right here, this like, wait, one, two, and three. That's a trilogy by Amanda Hawking. Not the Trill series, but another one. I've got all those for free. Um, 90 Miles to Freedom by Casey Hilton. She did The Magic of Finkelton and The Return to Finkelton, which I, I showed in a recent book haul. That one came up free. That's one of her recent ones. Um, a lot of great deals, and um, if you know where to look. So I thought, why not share some of that information with you guys today? So... Um, one of the main places, well, one of the main places you can get free books from, if you're not aware of this, is from your device itself. When you're in um, the shop areas on both the Kindles and the Nooks, you can punch in 0, 0.00 in the search area, which is like a price point, and that'll bring up, you know, thousands. And if you want to narrow that search, you put in a genre next to that, like mystery, sci-fi, or whatever, and that'll help narrow the search down a little bit. Um, and it'll bring up listings and listings of, of free books. Uh, another really cool place to check is Facebook. Um, both Barnes & Noble and Amazon have uh, various sites on their uh, listings of books and things that are, are out. I'm going to be referring to some of my notes if you see me looking down here. Uh, on Facebook, for instance, there's a Nook Teen page that lists books specifically in the teen genre that are, are based, uh, any kind of deal. It could be completely free. It could be you know, 99 cents. Most of the books I showed you on here were under $3 or free, a majority of them being free. And you have to catch these deals kind of when they show up. So if you can't, like, if you wait too many days, they go back up to full price. Um, some of them are more specifically for the Kindle books, and some are, are specifically Nook. And sometimes the prices go across both. Like the Solus book might still be available. It was available for both Kindles and Nook books. Uh, what I'll sometimes do is, because I prefer to read on my Nook, is if I see a listing of something that shows up as a Kindle book, before I download it for that, I will double check to see if I can get it on my Nook uh, in that preferred format uh, before I, you know, go ahead and just go for the, the Kindle book. Okay, so there's the Nook Teen is one site. There's Nook Love if you're into romance books that specifically focus on that genre. Uh, there's a free ebook deal uh, site that's also for Kindle and Nook. There's tabs at the top that you can choose either one. There's Cheap E-Reads, that's a great place. Uh, Epic Reads, they have like a ebook deals tab in, in their site. Uh, there's also um, 
One of my favorites, which I'd say 80% of the books uh, have come from, is a site called Pixel of Ink. And I'm going to put all this information uh, in the little doobly-doo down below there uh, as to where to look for everything, all the links and stuff. But Pixel of Ink is really cool. This one's specifically for Kindle books. But again, like I say, if it's something I see on there that I like, I'm going to check and see if I can get it on my note first. And if not, then I'll go ahead and um, download it from there. But Pixel of Ink you can go ahead and subscribe to, and they will send you an email. So in your inbox you'll get a listing of like suggested ebooks that are, are uh, on deals or, or free for the day. And they will give you a little cover shot and the, the author and, and a synopsis of the book and then a little link to it. And when you click on the link, it jumps you to the Amazon page. Now, that doesn't automatically you know, make you order it. It'll show you the price at the moment. So in case the price has changed, you can decide, oh, no, I don't want it anymore. Or if it still shows it's free or whatever, you can go ahead and choose it. And so I get most of mine sent to my um, my iPod. That's where I, I read my emails. So I'll see a Pixel Bank email. I'll scan through it. If I see a book I like, I'll go ahead and click on it. It takes me right to the page for Amazon. And from there, I have one-click ordering set up. And all I have to do is hit the one-click, and I've got the book. Now I can have it sent directly to Kindle or what I'll usually do is just have it sent to this device and then after they've accumulated a bit I'll, I'll open up my Kindle, open up the Wi-Fi and then download this from the library into the device itself. Um, Pixel Link also has a separate page for like the young edition books which could be anywhere from little kids all the way up through the teens so I'll get two, mail, two emails a day with uh, listings of various books that I can decide if I want to order from or not. Um, the other uh, places you can check are, of course, Barnes & Noble has a website, bn.com, and you can look under the Nook Book tab, and in there you'll see the um, what they call the Nook Daily Find, and there's also a Nook listings for books under $5 and stuff, too. Amazon has something similar. You go into their Kindle ebook listing, and they'll have a, what they call the Kindle Daily Deal, and also they have uh, another, like, link that'll have books under under five dollars too. So you can get a lot of really good books from of all these sites and stuff. And again there's there's also further um, sites on the web. There's a free ebooks.net, free ebook deal. Pixel Bank has their main site on there as well. A lot of the Facebook pages that I mentioned, uh, if you just open up their their page like Pixel Bank itself, they'll have their website right listed on there with a link that will take you right to it. Uh, and there's also even the, the cheap.net, that's another one too. So Lots of lots of free books out there to uh, sort of inundate you and overwhelm you, probably as badly as I do, like I said. Um, but there's a lot of really cool books, and I'm, I'm trying to plan some way to start plowing my way through these. And I think I'm going to tr probably make a plan to read at least one of these books a month, like add it into my list for that for that month. So... We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll try and start dwindling it down. But if, you, if you're curious to get a little closer look at some of the books I've got, like I said, you might find some titles that are interesting that might still be on a good deal. You can check that over that away if you are. I think it's on the Featured tab of my channel. There's uh, On the side, you'll see the links for uh, Goodreads. That'll take you to my Goodreads page, and it's the shelf marked Cheap and Free eBooks. So hopefully you find some good deals, and if not, check down the doobly-doo down there below, and... Check out some of these sites. You might find something pretty interesting, like I did, and stuff your Nook or eBook or whatever. And if you don't have these devices, which I forgot to mention almost, uh, if you don't have either one of these devices, you can go to either to Barnes & Noble's site or to the Amazon site, both of them. Um, well, actually, you don't have to go there. You go to iTunes. You can download the apps, too. Um, well, yeah, the iTunes is if you have an iPod, sorry. The, all of this, there's apps for your PC, for your iPod, uh, for your iPad. They have them available for all sorts of devices. Um, you can download those, those apps for free from those sites, and then from there you can order ebooks as well. So you don't necessarily have to have a, a dedicated e-reader. You are kind of tied then to that device, even if it's your PC, but you'll be able to get some pretty cool free books out of that. So definitely check them out. Um, let me know if you find any good deals. I'd be curious. Hopefully I helped you out there, and happy reading.